I've recently visited the extreme southeastern part of Poland, the Bieszczady Mountains. This region is considered to be one of the wildest regions of Poland, offering stunning views and bears, wolves and even European bisons wandering around. Nowadays Bieszczady are becoming a more and more popular tourist destination, especially among hiking enthusiasts. But has it always been such a wild place? You'll find the answer to this question in the picturesque open-air museum of folk architecture in Sanok. The museum contains about 200 buildings that have been transported from surrounding villages and towns, restored to their original condition and furnished with authentic objects. It shows us the life of different ethnic groups of this region in the 19th and early 20th centuries. However, after World War II, Things changed. In 1947, Operation Vistula was launched, which was a code name for the forced resettlement of the Ukrainian minority from this region, including Boykos and Lemkos. The Soviet installed Polish communist authorities wanted to prevent any support to the Ukrainian insurgent army that had been fighting the communist Polish People's Army in the southeastern part of post war Poland. Overall, about 141,000 civilians were resettled and many villages were burned down. The consequence of Operation Vistula was almost total depopulation of this region. Following the Bieszczady Rediscovered historical trail gives us a lot of food for thought. It takes us to villages that no longer exist. Zavoy, Javorzec, and Wuch. With traces of former fields and orchards, with remnants of wells, of basements, with foundations of Orthodox churches. We cannot change history, but what we can do is to make sure it's never forgotten. Nowadays, the Bieszczady region is often visited by people who enjoy nature and wildlife. It offers picturesque hiking trails and is definitely far from being overcrowded. The region also attracts enthusiasts of water sports, whose favorite destination is Lake Solina, an artificial lake that was created when the Solina Dam was constructed. 